Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Yellow Chair devotional. December 5, our fifth day in our Advent series as we are getting ready for Jesus and the first Christmas. All right, so we're using the book A Jesus Christmas together. And today is called The Only Truly Good Person is Jesus. All right, so we're going to read together Exodus chapter 3, verses 4 through 10. So do you have your Bibles? Let's get a Bible together and turn to Exodus. So that's the second book of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. We've gone too far. Exodus chapter 3. So right at the beginning of Exodus, and we're looking for our big number 3, chapter 3. And then we're going to look for little number 4, for verse 4. Four. So if you need a little more time to find it, just pause the video and then press play when you're ready. Exodus 3 verse 4 and our person that we're looking at is Moses. Here's what it says. The Lord saw Moses was coming to look at the bush. So God called to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, do not come any closer. Take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your ancestors. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Moses covered his face because he was afraid to look at God in this burning bush. The Lord said, I have seen the troubles my people have suffered in Egypt, and I have heard their cries when the Egyptian slave masters hurt them. I'm concerned about their pain. I have come down to save them from the Egyptians. I will bring them out of that land. I will lead them to a good land with lots of room. This is a land where much food grows, the land of the people, the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. I have heard the cries of the people of Israel. I have seen the way the Egyptians have made life hard for them. So now I am sending you to the king of Egypt. Go, bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Egypt. All right, so a burning bush that doesn't burn up and Moses is drawn closer. Why did Moses need to take off his sandals? Well, it said in verse 5, take off your sandals for where you are is holy ground. Holy ground because God was there and God is holy, isn't it? And why was God sending Moses to Egypt? They were enslaved, right? The Egyptians had, had turned the Israelites into their slaves. And what is God all about? Setting his people free. Saving us because of his love for us, his desire to have a relationship with us. You see, Moses was part of God's plan for the first Christmas. The family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob grew into a very big family called Israel. But something was terribly wrong. God's people, often called God's children, were slaves, and they lived far away in a place called Egypt. God sent Moses to lead his people. Moses loved God, and he was a good person, and Moses would rescue God's children from slavery. But Moses could not crush the head of the serpent. He was just being used by God at this time. Because you see, the serpent Satan whispers another lie. Any good person could rescue you. Look at Moses. He rescued. No, no, no. What is the truth that God says? The truth is that no matter how good or wise people are, none of them are God, right? Your teacher isn't God. The adults in your life aren't God. The leaders in your church aren't God. I'm leading this video. I'm not God, right? We don't want to follow people. We want to follow God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the only truly good teacher and leader. The serpent tempted Jesus, but Jesus won every fight against sin. Only Jesus never sinned, so only Jesus can crush the head of the serpent and rescue us. Christmas tells us that Jesus is much more than a good person. He is fully God and fully human. Moses was just a human, right? And look at what God did through Moses. He turned Moses into an amazing leader. He used Moses to free his children from slavery. 
and lead them to a promised land. But that was God working through Moses. Moses was just a good person otherwise. Jesus, he's the one who is perfect and who never sinned. He is the perfect leader, the perfect teacher. Christmas tells us that Jesus is fully God, fully human, and only Jesus can bring us to God on the ladder or the stairway like we saw yesterday. The Bible says in Hebrews 3 verse 3, Jesus has been found worthy of greater honor than Moses. Just as the builder of a house has greater honor than the house itself. What does that verse mean? Well, God's the one who made Moses, right? Just like a carpenter is the one who builds the house. When we look at a beautiful house like the house I'm in right now, I am so thankful for the person who built this house. When we see people who are doing amazing things like Moses did, we praise God who created and made those people. All right, so Jesus is our way to God because Jesus never sinned. Moses messed up in his life. Moses had some moments as a leader where he had some hardship. Jesus, though, is our perfect leader, our perfect teacher, the only one who can rescue us because Jesus never sinned. All right, so who is the only one who can rescue us? Jesus. Christmas is mostly fun, right? But sometimes problems happen, right? Sometimes there's hard stuff that happens during Christmas. How can Jesus be your rescuer when those hard times come? What do you think? I've had some sad Christmases. I've had some Christmases that haven't gone the way we planned. Some Christmases where maybe we shed some tears. Some Christmases that were hard. Well... How can Jesus be our rescuer during those hard times? All right, so that's a good one to maybe talk about with some adults. Talk about on the dinner table and just have those conversations of how Jesus can be our rescuer. Because how is Jesus different from every other good person? How is Jesus different from Moses? Well, Jesus never sinned. He was fully God, fully human. He is our everything. So let's say a prayer, and then I'm going to talk about today's ornament. Dear Jesus, we are thankful for your plan for us. We are thankful that you never sinned. You resisted the temptations of Satan. You are here to crush the serpent's head. We are thankful for your victory, for being our rescuer through the hard times. Moses was a good leader, but he was a good leader because of you working through him. We are thankful that you want to work in our lives too. We are thankful for your love for us. And we say this in your name. Amen. All right. So our theme for today for our ornament, Jesus never sinned. All right. So again, if you need to print more ornaments off or you could also design your own and just cut them out. There's a link in the description for the video, but I wrote that it's December 5, and then I used some cursive, and I said, Jesus never sinned, but you could write it however you want. And on the back, well, I did a not-so-great drawing. I, I messed up, and now you kind of have to squint. Um, it kind of looks like a turkey, but I was going for a burning bush. I was going for a burning bush, so I'm going to need to use some colors on there to, to fix it because it looks a little not so great. <laughs> but you can draw a burning bush or you could draw God's name to remember that God was the one talking from the bush to Moses. You could even just design anything you wanted to help us remember that Jesus never sinned. He is the perfect leader, the perfect teacher. He is the one that we want to follow. All right. So have a wonderful day decorating your ornament, getting it ready to hang on the tree or on a garland or on the fridge. And I hope we can remember that because of Jesus, we have someone who is the way, the truth, and the life. We have a good teacher and leader to follow who's going to deliver us and set us free. And I will see you tomorrow.